Hey, what's up, people? What's going on? It's the BQF, Black Quarterback Forum, coming to you. BlackQuarterbacksInEffect.com website. The Black Quarterback Forum YouTube channel. Hey, it's a holiday week, so me and my man Smee's both, you know, tied up with family business. So he's going to make a video, and I'm going to post it at the website. I just want to say hello to everybody out there. Thanks for all the visitors going to the website. The website's gaining traction. People like learning about Black QBs. Appreciate that. You know the videos. Appreciate the people who do watch them. You know we don't have a big production company, so we can't talk about every team and all of that. You know the deal. We focus on the black quarterbacks. So I'm just here to make a quick video, to just something for the week. But we'll be back next week with our full production video and the way we do it. You know. So with that said, I'm just gonna look at the games this week, kind of run down and give you who I think gonna win based on the circumstances and obviously better teams out there, right? We talked about the top teams. We know who they are in the NFC. The Eagles, Lions, Niners, Cowboys, Seahawks, top five. And then you go from there. From the AFC, it's stacked. Ooh, ooh the AFC is stacked. Y'all know the deal. The Ravens, Chiefs, Jaguars, Dolphins. I forget who comes in at fifth. I know, I know Pittsburgh there, Houston, and I forget who the other team is at the moment off the top. But anyway, with the black QBs this week, we got the Packers and Lions on Thanksgiving Day, you know. If you read the website, I don't get Jordan Love going up in there. I just hope they have a decent game plan where he ain't throwing 50 times. Try to run the ball. Try to keep the game because otherwise, they're just going to tee off on him. So, I don't think they're going to come out of there with the dub. But if he does, fantastic for Jordan and the Packers. Cowboys with Dak. It's Thanksgiving. Division rival commanders. Sam Howell, their quarterback. <laughs> Commanders is leading the league in passing. So he's doing something right. <laughs> he's slinging that ball. But the Cowboys should win. Dacking them on a roll. We'll see what happens, right? And the NFL is highlighting that Friday, uh, Black Friday game with the Raiders. Yeah, they wear black jerseys and the Dolphins and Tua. So, uh, excuse me, not the Raiders. My apologies. The Jets. <laughs> the Jets and the Dolphins, not the Raiders. The Jets and the Dolphins, they played the Raiders last week. So with the Jets, where they keep hope alive. So Aaron Rodgers coming back. I want him to come back. Come on back. Just come back so one of them big 300-pound deep tackle can just fall on that ankle, <clears throat> crunch it, make sure it really works. But come on back. That's Dolphins and Jets. NFL's hyping of Friday. It was a Black Friday game. <laughs> but I was thinking Raiders because they were black. But Black Friday game. Y'all know what I'm talking about. As the first, they game new on a Saturday, but they hyping it for Black Friday. <laughs> Crazy Dolphins and Jets. Jets ain't winning that game too. Oh, that defense what was the play on that defense was like our defense is gonna be historic. Yeah, okay, historically average. <laughs> and then we got the Panthers and the Titans. Bryce Young gonna play every rookie quarterback out there. He beat C.J. Stroud of all people. <laughs> but uh, they're playing the Titans. Will Levis, he's he's rocking it for them now, right? <laughs> He's like 6'4", 220. Looks very different than CJ. I mean, excuse me, not uh, Bryce. He looks very different than Bryce. So, uh, I don't know if Bryce gets another win there. We'll see. Hopefully. And then to me, <clears throat> one of the most interesting games is the Jags and the Texans. <clears throat> so, I don't know if it's changed as of me recording this right now, Wednesday evening here in Phoenix. <laughs> but the Jags are point and a half favorite. To me, <clears throat> that's a little disrespectful to CJ. Because if it's about right now, and that's what betting is, about right now, not what you did in the past. And I understand Trevor Lawrence is one of the best quarterbacks in the AFC after Lamar and Patrick. <laughs> but and CJ is building his resume, but still, if you're going to give a point and a half, give it to Houston, they at home. So I once heard this dude from Caesars Palace uh, sports book talk about how the quarterback moves that line. So to me, they just think Trevor Lawrence is better. Because otherwise you get a point and a half to CJ. But anyway, moving on. One of the most interesting games is the Browns and the Broncos. We got black on black crime with DTR and Russ going at it. Russ been my man Schmees hit me up with a, a stat that Russell was leading the league at quarterbacks as far as touchdown and interception ratio. Touchdown to um Pick interception ratio, I should say. So he's leading the league in that. Interesting. <laughs> no one think 
And they just two games behind Kansas City, which I'm supporting the Kansas City jersey tonight. This is a Herring jersey. It's got my name on the back. So I'm supporting my Kansas City. So I still believe in them. Patrick Mahomes was throwing some dimes. <laughs> but anyway, black on black crime there with the Broncos and Browns. So then we got the Rams and the Cards. Kyler Murray be at home in Phoenix here in the desert trying to get another dub. So we'll see the Rams. Yeah, they beat the Rams, so what? You know, Rams ain't going nowhere this year. We got the Chiefs and finally the Raiders. <laughs> that just goes up against the Raiders. <laughs> you know, the Raiders are going to be fighting for their playoff lives. So they got to catch the balls. <laughs> as long as they're catching the ball in Kansas City, they should win that game. The Bills and the Eagles. Got Jalen Hurts. The Bills are going to come into the link. That's the Lincoln Stadium, I believe. It's Lincoln Financial Field. Excuse me, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware, 30 miles south of Philly, people. I wasn't a big-time Eagles fan when I was growing up. <clears throat> but if you notice on my website, I posted the Black Historical Moment, Randall Cunningham, people. He used to kill Randall before Lamar, before Cam, you know, before Michael Vick. There was Randall Cunningham, so the Eagle. I think Jalen and them take care of Buffalo at home. And then the Sunday night game, you know, one of my favorite, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens going to L.A. I always joke about everybody. Everybody love L.A., right? The sunshine, the pretty women, the glamour, the glitz. Don't be fooled. They going there and take care of business, people. So I, I got the Ravens coming out there. The ball, I mean, uh, L.A. Chargers fighting for their playoff lives. So who knows? It's one of them primetime games. So you don't know anything could happen. Then the crib, well, it ain't the creme de la creme, but <laughs> the Bears and the Vikings got another primetime game with two black quarterbacks. Justin Fields and Joshua Dobb both coming off losses last week looking for that victory. So we'll see up under the bright lights on Monday night who's going to prevail. It's interesting. Two weeks in a row, people. Monday night games featuring black quarterbacks on both teams. I'm sure that's history. So take care. We'll get at you next week with a full video. Look at the website. My man Smee's going to have his own video out there, too. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Take care.